Hello guys, right, it's uh, 5.19 on Tuesday morning, I think it's Tuesday anyway, uh, yep, Tuesday the 5th of January, and um, I was just doing some analysis on charts, uh, the dog woke me up again so I thought I would uh, get some chart time in uh, as I wasn't sleepy. So, um, Euro US dollar monthly, top down analysis. I from the monthly down to the uh, hourly and uh, beyond and uh, we can clearly see this is our trusty one two three um, higher low pattern on a monthly chart uh, trend line reversal uh, call it what you like really but um, we have clearly got bullishness in this monthly chart has been for a long time obviously so <clears throat> I talk about the stairs we've got the stairs going down and we've got the stairs um, being climbed on this side so you know everything is on your charts to learn why it does what it does you don't have to accept what I say just look at the line chart for example and um, someone asked me earlier how I draw my lines so might as well uh, add this into the mix I like to see price push further down to give me a valid line so these two wouldn't really be valid because they haven't broken that low okay this is a valid stairway step on the down move I hadn't really intended to do this but uh, seeing as uh, it is um, easy to explain uh, I might as well this is a valid level because it forces price below there and in case you hadn't noticed or, or caught on I always look to the left to see where the right needs to get past so here we can see we've pushed price below that low there so that becomes a valid level we can then also work out why this is such a significant level just by looking at these uh, simple lines here is valid support because that high is broken by price here then when it came down it broke through that valid support that that is massive remember the stairs and over here as we've pushed up we've pushed up through that line again so this this level when you hear people talk about uh, significant levels or whatever this has major significance and I bet if we went over on this side we'd see something going on as well uh, Let's reduce the size of the chart. Yeah, look, there. Massive move off that level. Uh, let's zoom out again, see if we can get some more information. Yeah, not so here and here, actually. So this is a level that they like to use historically. Going back, this is here is, as you can see, roughly around 2000. The year 2000, 20 years ago I'm talking about, 2003, <clears throat> and uh, I wonder if we can go back, no we can't go back any further, there's no more data. So anyway, I digress, at the moment we are bashing into huge levels also that have uh, historical significance, so we could draw a level on there, for giggles, here and here and we are bashing up against that now so back to the candle charts and we can see what's happening now so obviously price has pushed up further over here we can see that clearly so there is a clear um, supply and demand battleground about there and these levels will look 
totally different again on the next time frame up because this battle area here had to have another battle area up here in order for the price to create these wicks. Just my thought processes. So what have we got over here? We have a huge break of resistance. In other words, the price was pushed down with these red candles by this massive push up in December. This is January, the current month. So we could put a level on there, the high, because that would actually be significant as well. <clears throat> and we could also put a flip area on this battle battleground here, 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 flipped over, went up, here, 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 here. So as you can see, you know, these levels start to um, educate us as to what price did just by drawing a few lines on a monthly chart. So what do we know? Well, we know we've got our trend line reversal. We know we've got a three candle reversal gone on over here. We know we have got a new battle area above us. Notice the price has uh, touched that, pushed down, and in my opinion, this is still bullish. We still have um, a lot going on up here, but you do not trade anything that I say. You do your own analysis and you enter your trades accordingly. Uh, the RSI Histo is telling us something interesting as well. Um, the current month, which is only five days old, or four and a half days old, is actually stronger than this tiny candle is stronger than that huge candle according to the RSI. I don't mention that very often but that is something I look at as well. Of course this could crash and then that would be a different uh, looking uh, situation altogether. But uh, have we actually currently broken that high there? Double check that. 385395 37 no it hasn't broken it double and triple check these so um, not that that's a problem we can see we broke the 20 level here which is a trigger in its own right and that was that big momentum candle there so when we were at this point here when the candle closed the bar closed it was it stands to reason that the next bar would probably continue up and it did all these things this is a monthly chart remember guys so you learn from historical analysis once again almost an identical situation broke through the high of the bar break through the high of the bar I wasn't I was tempted to mention that so that whole month got closed through 20 level break and up it goes that whole month got closed through with a 20 level break and guess what happens this one had a quite severe pullback but I'm not going to go into too much detail about that video this particular video will get too long and we're not even off the monthly chart yet so um, next step is to try and work out what this is going to do we know this has got massive massive um, uh, strength, power, momentum. So stick a level on there. We know categorically this has got to get through that high there, so we might as well stick a level on there. Let's see what that's doing. We we'll get rid of this noise now, for now. My mouse has stopped. These lower ones don't matter because they're not uh, anywhere near affecting price. But all the ones are causing a p potential problem with price. Get rid of that one and just put a thin, precise flip level in there. And uh, what else can we see? We've got um, that high there. And obviously if it gets through this uh, flip area, which coincides with that high, then 
the next area will be oops wrong one two choices and I choose the wrong one there on the hive that one and while we're here we might as well put the other two on as well that one and that one okay looks like a complete mess but when you get on the lower time frames it will start to become clear so I'm going to pause this upload it and this will be part one and we'll make part two in a moment <laughs> 